This happened to me almost 10 years ago when I was about 18. I wanted to go pick up some groceries at our local Walmart. It was around 11 p.m. at night and I just got off work. I usually have no problem going anywhere by myself, but on this specific night, it was my inner self telling me to invite my friend to tag along. I'm roughly 5 feet tall, female, 105 pounds, but I don't get spoked too easily and always carry pepper spray with me. Anyways, back to the story. I call my friend to ask if she'll accompany me, and I go pick her up. We walk into the produce side of the Walmart, and almost right away, I notice a man staring at us very intently. He was around 5'5", five five, kind of heavy, had a Hawaiian shirt on, and looked kind of Hawaiian. So we're over by the fresh produce, and I'm keeping an eye on him as he pretends to be looking at bread, but clearly keeps putting things back. I turn my back for a second to grab something. Then I hear a male's voice ask, Hey, do you guys know of anywhere where I can get food this late? For more background information, I lived in a city of about 50,000 people. Right across from this Walmart was an Applebee's, a McDonald's a quarter mile up the road, and other various places to get food. Plus, we were in the middle of a Walmart, so I don't beat around the bush and flatly tell him about a couple restaurants around where we were. He then asks, well, what's fun to do around here? It's late at night, so nothing really to do except maybe go to Applebee's or a local bar. I tell him Applebee's is open and we have bars downtown, but that's all I am aware of. He proceeds to ask what we were doing when we leave and I tell him we have to leave now. He apologizes and he says he didn't mean to be creepy. So we walk away and we were looking for the frozen aisle when I spot him on the opposite side walking by. I tell my friend I had a bad feeling about him since we walked in and wanted to test out if he was following us. We walk a few more aisles and sure enough he is on the other side nonchalantly walking pretending not to see us. I backtrack a couple of aisles to get something, and he walks up, pretending to look at things. I finally ask if I can help him with something. I think I threw him off guard by being so direct, because he stuttered and asked what aisle the milk was. I tell him and we leave to check out. Well, wouldn't you know, he's in the checkout right next to us with a pack of gum. No milk or whatever else. He finishes first and watches us as he leaves the store. Me thinking he's gone by now tells my friend to just run into the car. So we run out to the car looking around to make sure we don't see him. Here's the worst part. As I'm leaving the parking lot, we spot him sitting on the trunk of his car, watching people leave Walmart. I drive by to get his license plate number. He sees us and rushes into his car. I speed off quickly as possible so he doesn't see where I went. I then call the cops and tell them what happened and relayed the license plate to them. So, creepy Hawaiian shirt guy who was supposedly looking for a place to eat while in the middle of a Walmart, please, let's never meet again.